So in today's video, we're taking another look at the latest leaks on the upcoming year three. It seems like we have a release date, the actual specs and the price and some new live videos of the latest drone from DJI. But I also want to highlight that these are only leaks and nothing has been confirmed by DJI themselves. But from what I can see, these look to be 100% legit and we can actually expect to see the Air 3 available soon. So first, let's start with the release date. Now, according to the trusted leakers Quadra News and Jasper Illens, we now have the top of a product description from a retail store saying they are taking pre-orders now and will guarantee shipping to start from the 25th of July, which either means the release date is the 25th or a day or two after in order to get the drone out to the customers on or the day after launch. As for the price, we have two different listings and I'm gonna just drop them here on the screen so you can see the two prices, but one is with the RC2 controller, the brand new DJI RC2, and the other one is with the RCN1 controller, both being the fly more combo. Now, in my previous video, there was also a lot of questions regarding the image sensor, but from what seems to be the official release notes of the specs, we can see the Air 3 running a one over 1.3 inch Siemens sensor on both the wide and medium telephoto lens. Now as for these lenses, the wide angle lens will have an aperture of f1.7 which is equivalent to a 24mm lens and the telephoto lens will have an aperture of f2.8 with a focal length equivalent to a 70mm lens. As for tracking, like I mentioned in the previous video, we can see that it's most certainly confirmed that we can see spotlight, active track and point of interest. The good old quick shots and master shots is of course included as well, which I'm a huge fan of. It just makes shooting videos so much easier. Now, another thing which has been the talking point of the upcoming Air 3 is the vertical shooting mode. Now, this does not seem to rotate the camera as the Mini 3 does, but it shoots vertical videos directly from the two cameras. But we do see a downgrade from the Mini 3 Pro when it comes to resolution. The Air 3 only caps at 2.7K, but this is still gonna be enough for your social media posts. Now, what's really interesting here is the night mode feature. There's not much information about this at this point, but it seems to be the same mode as we see in the Mavic 3 series, which would be amazing. Now, another amazing feature which seems to come to the Air 3 is waypoints, which will, as stated, allow you to save the flight path and then go back to the location to fly the exact same route in different seasons like summer, fall, winter, etc. And then create a seamless transition between these. Now, as for the obstacle avoidance, the Air 3 seems to run with an omnidirectional sensing system with APAS 5.0, running with a horizontal, upwards, and downwards vision system for a safer flight. Now, as for the transmission feed, I also mentioned this in my previous video, but it seems to be confirmed now that the Air 3 will be the first to receive the new Ocusync 4.0 transmission with a max range of 20 kilometers and a video feed of 1080p at 60 fps. Yes. Now, for those looking to take photos with this drone, it seems to run a dual 48 megapixel photo option, which might output similar or slightly better image quality as the Mini 3 Pro. Now, for the remaining specs and the complete list, I will leave some photos running on the screen now, so you can just pause the video if you want to take a closer look.
Now, these are some really interesting specs to see, and personally, I think the extended flight time and the waypoints are my favorites. And of course, the telephoto lens, even though I see myself not using it that often, it's always a great feature to have. And now, at a lower price than the Mavic 3 as well, if the price is anything to go by. So there we have the latest leaks from Jasper Elms and Quadro News. To me, it seems quite solid and I think we'll be seeing more of this drone in the next few days. I'm also curious to know if this will be your next drone or not and also what type of features you're most excited about. Let me know in the comments below, guys. So that wraps it up with the latest leaks of the Air 3. It sure looks like an interesting drone. Now, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and drop a like if you haven't already. That would be appreciated. And until next time, take care and I will see you soon.